How's it going boys? The name's SB and welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, this is going to be a very different one than usual, but I thought I'd put my two moats, um, as I like to say, into this entire divinity debacle before it um, goes down the rabbit hole uh, to the point where it's just dead. Because you know what? What's 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 more entertaining than jumping on a dead trend uh, after everybody's already bitched about it enough and putting in my two cents while I still can. Uh, anyway, jumping jumping straight into it, obviously. Uh, as somebody, if you if you know me, I am a quite an avid raider. Um, I enjoy myself a raider too, and I've been playing Destiny for quite a while now. Uh, but I, I I thought I have a, I thought I might have a place to put in my like I said like I said before in two moats on my on the entire divinity thing. So um, yeah, so uh, jump jump straight into it. Just. This is going to be a slight rant video, which is very much different. So I'm trying to think of the way to word this because not, not I'm not going to edit much of my own fucking uh, speaking on this one. Uh, anyway, the entire debate, starting with uh, Salt Agrippa's tweet, if you haven't already seen it already, uh, about this entire massive this is a massive thread about why divinity needs to be nerfed or tweaked or whatever. Um, I personally think it's. Uh, it's it's an interesting take, like not not to the point where I'm um, in, in saying it's interesting in terms of like oh it's interesting that he's trying to spark controversy, but it's interesting in terms of it's been thought. I, I feel like it's been thought about around the community, but hasn't been said. You know what I mean? I, I feel like a lot of people have thought about oh you know this, and, and people have obviously said it before. I'm assuming behind closed doors maybe, or maybe they just haven't had the platform to speak out about it. Heck, I know that I've talked about divinity with my uh, clan mates in terms of it being a bit over the top at points in time. Um, but obviously has, has, having Salt, uh, of all people, with somebody, somebody that big coming out and making such a big uh, vocal point about it is quite interesting. And it's, it's taken, definitely taken the um, community by storm in terms of his thoughts and opinions on it. Now, what I'm really... Uh, what I'm really enjoying about this entire thing the most is the comments and I could and like the the responses and all that from people and I, I've been really enjoying reading through that but um, you know I'd want to I wanted to put my own piece in and I, I I agree with him that's 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 all there is to say obviously um, I can't say I agree with him on every single point but I agree with him in the grand scheme that it should be nerfed or tweaked because it is very much a powerful exotic to the point where almost every raid is based around it and if you're watching the uh, footage in the background right here this is a raid i did literally um earlier today with clan mates uh maybe earlier yesterday depending on when this video comes out but um we did this all void run using no divinity no well of radiance no nothing just pure dps using linears uh, and all that type of stuff and there's another uh, i could have another rant about linears in another video um and specific damage weaponry um, but I'll save that for later. I'll focus on the div for now. But um, I've been wanting to get this rant out for a minute because it's been it's been a while building up. Um, not in terms of me being angry, but in terms of me wanting to get my own point out. And yeah, I would, uh, I've been, uh, this is barely going to reach anybody. But I know for a fact that getting it off, uh, getting it off and up to people who actually do watch my content, uh, so people know what my thoughts and takes are on it, um, will be helpful to get it off my chest as well. So starting off with obviously. Um, the fact that dude, the most most raids have been based around divinity that was one of the points that were brought up yes pretty much that's correct ever since god of salvation released and divinity became a thing most raids in terms of let, let's have a look at deepstone uh as the best example damage bars and the way bosses have been created have been tweaked to knowing that divinity exists right for example tanix of all things tanix the abomination final boss fight Nobody's going to aim for that crit spot on the head. You know what I mean? Having Divinity be a 30% debuff and making that crit bubble, obviously that was designed thinking, okay, Divinity is going to make it easy to hit, right? right? That's probably the main thought. It's easier to hit, right? You then pull up, for example, um, let's go for a Caretaker, right? Caretaker's HP bar, if you were there on day one or if you've watched anybody through day one, seen how much of a struggle Caretaker was, trust me, I lived it. 26 million hit points, if I'm remembering correctly, around that. 26 million. It's an absurd, absurd number, completely 
just over the top for a raid boss, um, which made people, oh, I, mean, I mean, not over the top, obviously, it's supposed to be challenging, but for the DPS output most teams had, it became a challenge. Um, my team definitely had difficulty with it. I can't say, I'm not speaking out for all teams, obviously, some people got through it within a breeze, trust me, but uh, for my team specifically and for a lot of other teams that I've heard of, um, it was very, uh, very much a deep, difficult DPS check. Um, and obviously, yeah, the divinity bubble doesn't help because the fact that the boss's boss Boss's, the boss's body is so big that you can't hit the divinity bubble but the fact that the debuff exists and it's a 30 percent debuff which stacks on top of other things it's clearly like in in the in the brain of a developer you would think okay divinity exists we need to make it so like having divinity on a boss doesn't completely make the boss's hp like just fucking disappear and i can put examples out there for boss and bosses before divinity came out where like divinity isn't necessary look at look at um shiro chi and kali for example right it, their head has a crit multiplier and um like if you put divinity on it that crit multiplier disappears right those i don't know what's going on with those bosses specifically but clearly there are there are bosses that divinity doesn't work on right and that's where i'm going to lead into this next argument right where people say just don't use div right that's one of the main arguments that is put up against salt and everybody else who agrees with salt just don't use div now as salt put it it's not a case of you just don't use it it's a case of you're going to need it as said before most most if not nearly all the bosses going into the future right as of right now have been tweaked to where divinity is necessary to a certain extent where look, look like, again i can pull up war priest that's another good one war priest back in destiny one that bitch did not move he was stun locked 24 7 you rinsed him down lickety split in this one he doesn't only flinch you but moves around like a motherfucker hitting that head like as you can see like in the in the clip behind in the clip in the background right if you saw the dps face you cannot you or not i mean i'm not saying you cannot if you have a good enough aim you can but hitting the head is a difficult feat for the average player right like heck i'm even missing a couple shots and like obviously like, like i said divinity isn't necessary for all bosses but it's definitely a requirement going into for example a day one right if you go into a day one if you went into day one for king's fall divinity definitely was necessary for war priest you couldn't i mean some yeah i mean you could but at the time nearly every team if if not all teams used divinity on caretaker uh, not, not caretaker fuck i'm in here war priest right every every team used it right and then that 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 like, i don't know why the argument always comes up it's like just don't use it mate you can't just not use it right it's a case of it's there and it's you 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 pretty much necessarily need it for again specific bosses um but it's that entire argument counter counter attack from the casual players and the people who disagree with that take is just it is dumbfounding to me personally but um it's just it, honestly divinity like, like i said i agree with salt on most of the occasions that of, of most of the facts that you put out divinity is definitely a weapon that needs tweaking now the i'm going to jump onto the points that he made about specifically the da, like the the way he said that they should tweak it right about the the debuff of 30 percent and the crit bubble and all that type of shit and i've been seeing a lot of responses uh as i scroll down through the twit longer now uh, i'm not somebody who uses twitter often so i haven't been able to gouge everybody's opinion across the entire divinity but debacle um by going to different posts i've just read through the thread and a couple of other things that other people have said um so i don't have the full picture from every single content creator and every single person on the platform but what i saw the most of was making it a heavy or just getting rid of the crit bubble that's what i saw the most of from what i read now making it a heavy wouldn't be a bad idea necessarily but i think that the fact that it is a special makes it unique and i think divinity fits the special slot because it's a trace rifle obviously it'd be pretty pretty unusual to see a heavy trace rifle um there is another thing that i've been hearing going around about making it heavy while giving whisper back to the secondary slot i don't know where that's come from but i mean i wouldn't mind the trade-off um but that's just a personal thing uh and then the other thing about um obviously getting rid of um the crit bubble and just keeping the debuff or so vice versa for example that to that extent i kind of agree i feel like it would be interesting personally i'm with the get rid of the debuff part the 30 percent uh, i heard something about divinity negating 
uh, other debuffs as well if you use it while getting rid of the 30% as well. So you just have the crit bubble there, but no debuff or anything like that, or from like any source as well. Uh, I heard about that. That might be a bit over the top in my opinion. Um, but you know, obviously at the end of the day in this entire like thing about what you should do to tweak or nerf div, there's a lot of options that Bungie can take with it and jumping to a conclusion about what they should do and arguing over it. Obviously it's funny to read through and see everybody's opinions on it. But at the end of the day, I don't think much of it's gonna happen because you know, it's Bungie. They can barely get their fucking game together. Have you seen, did you see what happened after the reset? Rate any type of loot just turned into every catch crash where you had to sit there until the activity ended before getting a loot. I had to sit there and take two red dots on my King's Hall because of the bug after Golgoroth and personally I'm quite upset about it but I'm not going to bitch about that. But yeah, it's like the Bungie tweaking it obviously is a rare feat or not a rare feat, but a, uh, it, it's not. It's highly likely not going to happen. And if it does, they have a lot of ways to guard it. Personally, I think that the best thing they could possibly do is get rid of the 30% damage debuff, keep the crit bubble, and make it so you can stack other debuffs on it. Obviously, like, for example, barrier, um, not barrier, um, sorry, rally banner for the Titan super where you use your sentinel shield barricade and shoot through it for the extra damage buff. That's a great, like, that's a... Yeah, that's a great like, different variant or not different variant but a um option for dps like when we were just thinking about while doing our void run how good that would be uh instead of having a well of radiance you just have that up right obviously radiance is very powerful as well as a buff you could use maybe maybe they could buff tether you know they, they could buff tractor cannon or maybe not buff tractor cannon but they could you know make make other debuffs effective against the buff uh buff boss it's my apologies but yeah, there's, there's a lot of things they could do to change it. And I think that the, everybody, again, everybody arguing about it is funny, but nobody's right in this situation. Like, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. No, nobody, nobody's right when it comes to taking a jab at one other person for a bad opinion. And I, I find it funny. Like I said, what reading through it, hilarious. Love it. But at the end of the day, what can you do about it? Um, I, I, like I said before, I definitely think it's interesting to see somebody as big as Salt come out and make an opinion on this. And like I said, <laughs> this video ain't going to go nowhere. I can tell you what, like I'm probably spitting this out to like six or seven people that actually enjoy it. But like I said, this entire, the, like this entire argument at the end of the day, there's a lot of factors that go into it and you can't, you can't predict the outcome. But I just want to point out that every... Everybody in the community at the moment who is arguing over this, hilarious as shit. But at the same time, the, I, don't, I don't understand why so much backlash goes towards an opinion. You know what I mean? Like, one of my favorite things from reading all of these, like, all, all these responses and all that from just, the, from just the thread. Like I said, I don't use Twitter that often, so I'm just reading the thread and maybe two or, like, two or three other posts. Is the war between, like, the, 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 the five or ten people who have a balanced mindset between, like, who gives a shit? Like, yes, it needs a nerf, but at the same time, you don't need to bitch too much about it. The oh, and the absolutely that group and the absolute character. I haven't even seen any sweats out there going, Yes, nerf it. Uh, I haven't seen that many. I've seen just people with you know mindsets of, Yeah, it is a possibility. I do agree with some of the statements here, yada yada yada, versus these absolute, like, just I don't want to say butt hurt because they're not butt hurt, but the absolute mad cunts who just get so like. They, they just love they, they, it's like a leech they leech onto anything they can grab onto and just like suck it dry in terms of how much bat like how much uh what's the word um how many how many words they can spit out to counterattack with that point to make it sound like they're the intellectual and again i'm not trying to say that they're butthurt sad baby raging you know dickheads you know everybody's free to their opinion and don't think that I'm holier than thou because fuck it, I was going on a rant earlier in my stream, trust. But it is quite 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 honestly the most enjoyable thing to read through and it's it's one of the one of the most like or, or most awkward diverse like arguments going back and forth. Like obviously I'd expect the sweats versus the casual. No, it's just like a, a group of equally minded people going, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah to the people going, nah 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 yeah nah. Right? It's just it, it's it's mind blowing to see how many casual players I want to say I'm just going to call them casual players getting heard about it and again another argument about the towards the casual player side of it is that 
Divinity is made for casual players. Now, yes and no. Like, here's the thing. I saw a lot of people complaining about the Divinity, access to Divinity is already choked off to the point where it's practically impossible. All right. First of all, in my opinion, it's not. It's a simple, just play Shadow Keep or play any, like if you play, if you play Destiny, I'm assuming you have the DLCs, right? If you want to play Destiny to play the raids and everything like that, I'm assuming you have the DLCs. You play Shadow Keep, you do, you literally go to the moon portal, you kill a Minotaur, you do three different quest lines, a kill Vex, shoot some oracles and then power it up using the Cryptoglyph, which you should have, obviously, if you, in, again, if you have Shadow Keep, you should have the Cryptoglyph. You power it up with the Cryptoglyph with the Phantasmal Fragments. I haven't done it in ages, but yeah, I'm assuming it's that. And then you do the raid and like everybody's like, oh, it's like a three hour puzzle. It's 10 extra minutes on top of a what should be an hour run, depending on your team, obviously. Like, yeah, every, every time a new raid comes out, shit dies immediately in terms of the old school shit like look at Val nobody does Val anymore unless it's like a, a group of people doing completions or you be, you barely have a lot of people doing Val as you now have King's Fall but Garden's in the grave at the moment and as much as it is a good raid people do not do it and I understand if you're going to find bad teams or like unfortunately get stuck in a team with people who are just batshit brainless right but at the same time if you were to go, okay, I want to organize a good run of Garden of Salvation, you can look up guides, you can start maybe picking specific people for a team to help you out. I understand that's sometimes hard, but you've got plenty of Destiny 2 LFG servers and you've got plenty of ac like plenty of ways to access groups of people who would be willing to help you. You know what I mean? Plenty of people want to get more Sherpas on their garden. Trust me, I do. But you've got plenty of access to a multitude of services that can get you a decent team. And that is literally a 10 extra minutes to an, uh, to an hour, what should be an hour, hour and a half run. So you can dedicate your time, dedicate your time to that. And then on top of that, you have people going, oh, well, you know, like this is behind the casuals, of course. Oh, well, like, you know, it just like somebody like a casual, it, it makes the encounters go faster. Yes, it does, right? But at the end of the day, if I myself and a lot of other people can one phase War priest with nothing but tractor cannon and rockets without divinity, right? In the, it, it's not a case of that, it's not a case of divinity is the only thing holding you back from a quick run. You can have divinity, trust me. I've seen, I've played multiple LFGs where divinity is there. Multiple people have divinity, and I've still had to four phase war priest or three phase oryx or whatever the fuck else you need to like has multiple phases that you would use div. Like look at Rolk for example. I've I've three phased Rolk plenty of times. Trust me. Right? That should be the divinity is one of the pinnacle things that you need for Rolk because of these hit like the way his crits work, right? Three phasing that still. It does it doesn't matter if Div is there or not, it's all based on the team's DPS output. And like I said before, there's a lot of talk about like lineas and shit, and I could get into that in another video if you wanted to meet, if people wanted me to. But at the end of the day, divinity isn't the source of fast runs. It helps, but it's not the source of it, right? And again, that goes back to the argument of, you know, oh, well, I don't have enough time to get divinity to help my team out. You do put time and effort behind it. You can get it, right? Yeah, I'm not going to sit here. Oh, I, I am going to sit here and laugh at it. Um, it's, just, it's the argument that divinity is either too hard to get while also being required to do runs is just counterintuitive. If it's too hard to get, then why is it required? Because clearly you have completions, don't you? Like, come on. Anyway, moving aside, pushing that to the side, moving forward. At the end of like, uh, like I've said before, you've had multiple different content creators jump on top of this. You've had Dado, you've had like Sweat and all that type you just jump on this and obviously make videos about it. And it seems that like, again, most of the streamers can, and big content creators and people who are, you know, play the game quite a bit can agree that Divinity is at a point where it needs tweaking and nerfing. And as I've said before, my personal opinion on it is just to get rid of the 30% debuff and maybe make some of the other debuffs in the game work decently with it and just have the crit bubble still there. Because obviously the crit bubble is a great help for people who can't aim. And, you know, aiming... Uh, obviously aiming is a skill issue and there's an entire another argument to go down where it's the bungee is in a game but bungee is too busy uh, adjusting to casuals instead of helping the game be harder but again i'm not going to go down that we're focusing on divinity so in my opinion 
at the end, like just summon this, summaring this, summarizing this all up because I'm not going to rant on for any longer before my throat hurts. And I want to get this, yeah, I don't want to keep you here for too long. As a summary, Divinity, I agree, should be nerfed to an extent. Not over the top, not an over the top nerf where you're getting rid of debuffs and you're getting rid of buffs and you're getting rid of the crit bubble and you're making it heavy and you're making it alternate fire or whatever. But tweak it enough where it's still a helpful weapon while not being required. And then going forward, I'd love to see changes to how raids work in terms of, you know, maybe some damage. I mean, like I said, dam damage towards specific raid bosses have been tweaked because divinity is a thing and they've got to adjust for it. And there's not much you can do about it. And as a quick sign off to all you people who complain about it, thank you for the humor. It has been keeping me quite entertained for the last couple weeks. Well, however long the thread's been out and just go get it yourself, LaMaya. If you enjoyed, fucking leave a like and comment or whatever. <laughs> this is literally just a red video, so I apologize if this has bored you and I don't know why you're still watching if it has. Check me out on Twitch if you want to ask me questions there about what I think about these controversies. I, I'm happy to answer because I do not care about who or what I say about anything in the game because again opinions don't matter because they're just opinions don't get butt hurt but at the same time please because it again humors me i'm gonna stop ranting appreciate appreciate you guys tuning in i hope you enjoyed catch you next time peace out love you all bye bye